here. Are you all ready for tonight's story? The story is titled Stella Luna. Snuggle up tight and enjoy! There once lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how mother bat loved her baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each night, Mother Bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. One night, as Mother Bat followed the scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. Mother Bat tried to escape, but the owl knocked Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were limp and useless. Down, down she went, faster and faster into the forest below. The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. Wrapping her wings about her, she clutched a thin branch. Mother, Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the baby bat could hold on no longer. Down, down again, she dropped. Stella Luna landed head first in a nest, startling three baby birds. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by its feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mama, hissed Pip. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for the crawly things Mama Bird brought her babies. Finally, the little bat could bear it no longer. She climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. In dropped a big green grasshopper. Before long, Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. She ate bugs even though they tasted awful. But Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. Once, when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. Eek! Mama cried when she returned. Get back up here this instant! You're going to fall and break your necks! Mama Bird spoke to Stella Luna. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Stella Luna promised to behave as a good bird should. She ate bugs without making faces, she slept in the nest at night, and she didn't hang by her feet. One day, Mama Bird told the babies it was time to learn to fly. Pip, Flitter, and Flap jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. Pip, Flitter, and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Stella Luna tried to do the same. How embarrassing. I will fly all day, Stella Luna told herself. Then no one will see how clumsy I am. The next day, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna flew for hours. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We had better go home or we will get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached, and then she dropped into a tree. I promise not to hang by my feet, Stella Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon fell asleep. She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming near. Hey, a loud voice said. Why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down, you are, Stella Luna said. Ah, but you are a bat. You are hanging by your thumbs. So that makes you upside down, the creature said. I am hanging by my feet. This makes me right side up. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaved like a bird. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate bugs stuttered one you slept at night gasped another 
not very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait! A bat pushed through the crowd. Sniffing Stella Luna's fur, she whispered, You are Stella Luna. You are my baby. You escaped the owl? cried Stella Luna. You survived? Yes, said Mother Bat. Come with me and we'll find the most delicious fruit. But it's nighttime, Stella Luna squeaked. We will crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in the dark. Come with us. Stella Luna let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon the bats found a mango tree and Stella Luna ate as much of the fruit as she could hold. I'll never eat another bug as long as I live, cheered Stella Luna. I must help Pip flitter and flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my fat family, said Stella Luna. They hang by their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world and wait until dark. We will fly at night too. When night came, Stella Luna flew away. Pip, Flitter, and Flap leaped from the tree to follow her. I can't see a thing, yelled Pip. Neither can I, howled Flitter. Ah! shrieked Flap. Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them to a tree and hung from the limb above them. We're safe, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. I wish you could see in the dark too. We wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. How can we be so different and feel so much alike? And how can we feel so different and be so much alike? Wondered Pip. Because we're friends, said Stella Luna. And that's a fact. Remember friends, even though we are different from each other, we can still be good friends. Theo, lights out, bedtime. Good night, friends. <laughs>